Hey guys, this is Grinder here from Androidify and in this video we're going to go over an example on how to start an activity for a result. So as you can see here in activity A, when we click on the send button, it's going to take us to activity B and um, here you have an edit text field where you can type something in and when you click on send me home button, it's going to take you back to activity A along with uh, whatever you typed in activity B. So let's start with a new Android Studio project. Uh, we are going to start off with a linear layout in activity main.xml and the orientation is going to be vertical. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start off with a text view. I'm gonna rename it to uh, activity A. Let me assign the gravity to be center horizontal and the text size to be 33 sp okay now if you go over to the design tab then you can actually drag and drop uh, different views onto the screen here so i'm going to uh, drop a button here uh, just below the the text view and i'm going to rename it to send and the id is going to be button and we need another text view below the button so I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna select large text and I'm gonna get rid of any text because we are going to get it from the edit text from activity B. So it's going to be empty for now. And now on the left side, uh, if you right click on this folder, uh, new, new Java class, uh, we're gonna call it activity B. Hit okay. And we're gonna get rid of this. Now this activity B is going to extend app compat activity. Now we need an onCreate method. And now if you go to rest folder, right click on the layout, new layout resource file, and I'm gonna name it activity underscore B. And the root element is going to be a linear layout. And now hit okay. Now go back to activity B.java and you need to call this method which is set content view so set content view is going to take an id of a layout as the input parameter and uh, in this case we are going to say r dot layout dot activity b so set content view is basically going to set up the user interface of this activity to be these views so let's go to activity main.xml and we need to assign an onclick attribute for this button element. So the value of this onclick attribute is going to be open act B. Now let's go back to main activity.java and inside this method, we need to create a void method named open act B. So open act B. And this is going to take a view object as the input parameter. Now inside this open act B method, we are going to create a new intent object. So I'm going to say intent I equals new intent. And this is going to take two input parameter. The first one uh, is going to be the application context. Um, so I'm going to call get application context method. And the second one is going to be the name of the class that's going to receive this intent. In this case, it's um, activity B. So I'm going to say activity B dot class. Now we are simply going to start um, the activity for result. This is going to take uh, two input parameters as well. The first one is going to be intent and the second one is going to be a request code, uh, which could be any integer. And now let's go back to uh, activity b.xml. Let's go to uh, design and I'm going to drag and drop this large text view here. Uh, I'm going to rename it to be activity b. We don't need an ID for this text view, so I'm going to delete the ID. And now we need, uh, if you scroll down, we need to have a text field here. So if you click here, uh, you drag and drop this plain text field. Lastly, we need a button. So uh, when you click on that button, it's gonna take us back to activity A. So I'm gonna double click on it and rename it to B home simply. And I'm gonna assign an ID, which is button. Okay, so if you go to text here, uh, you need to assign an onclick attribute as well and I'm going to name it to be send me home. So if I go back to activity B, I'm going to say public void send me 
home. So when you click on home button, it's actually going to call the onClick attribute, which in turn is going to call this method. And now inside this method, we are going to create an intent object, which will take us back to activity A. So I'm going to say intent i equals new intent and it's going to have a zero argument constructor. Now we need to attach data to this intent. So I'm going to go back to activity B, uh, edit text has an ID. So let's go back to Java and I'm going to create an edit text object. So edit text, edit text. And inside the onCreate method, I'm going to say edit text equals find view by ID r dot id dot edit text so this method is going to bring in that edit text element into java so since find view by id is going to return a view object we need to convert it into an edit text object so if you click here and press alt plus enter you cast it to edit text so we need to grab whatever the user types into the edit text field so i'm going to create a string variable called message so I'm going to say string message equals edit text and we're going to get whatever the user's typing using the dot get text method and we are going to convert it into a string using dot to string method. Now we need to attach it to intent so I'm going to say i dot put extra. Now this put extra method is going to take in two parameters. The first one is going to be key, the second one is going to be value. Now the key could be any a string or variable that you like and the value is going to be message and now we are going to set the result uh, it's going to take a result code as the input parameter which is an integer so i'm going to say result okay comma as well as the intent object now let's go back to main activity.java in order to receive the result you need to call this method on activity result method as well as the super class constructor so now we need to create an if statement. So if the request code matches the one that we sent, so if request code equals one and the result code is, is result okay. So if the request code is the one that we sent and the result code is okay, then we can receive the data here. Uh, let's create a text view object here. So I'm gonna say text view text view and inside the onCreate method we are going to say text view equals find view by id so r dot id dot uh, text view uh, let's cast this to text view and now here we are going to say string received message equals data dot get string extra now here you need the key in order to get the value and the key is data here so we need to refer to this key in order to get the message from activity b so i am going to type in data there and now we use the text view dot set text method to uh, set the text in activity main in, in activity a and we are done now um, you have to make sure that you declare activity B in manifest file um, because if you don't then your app will crash when you click on send button in activity A. Yeah we have to make sure that we actually declare activity B inside the manifest file. So now let's run this app on our phones and I'm gonna hit OK. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, but you must call the finish method so you can go back to activity A with the data. So let's run this app again on our phones. Okay, so if you click on send and it brings you to activity B, so you can type in hello world and if you click home, then there you go. Now, if you don't call this finish method, so let me get rid of this and run this app again. So if you click on send here, and if you type something in, if you click on home, it doesn't work. It can't take you to home because it's not going to kill this activity. We must call this finish method. Let me call it and let's run this app again. And it should hopefully take us back to activity A. So if I click on home again and it works. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to follow the written article over at androidify.com and also be sure to follow me on social media. The links will be in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'm Gurinder Singh from Androidify and I'm committed to helping you along the way.